Hi again, my name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller and today I'm going to be doing the second half of my Watt Solds which will be for last weekend, Friday through Sunday, September 22nd through the 24th and all in all it was a good weekend. Um, I had a few slow days earlier in the week while I think eBay was messing around with stuff but since then for the most part I have been right where I want to be and better. So I'm very happy that, you know, today's, today is the beginning of fourth quarter. So fingers crossed, you know, we don't have any more issues and all the sales start just piling in, but we're going on vacation this Friday. So, you know, I always see a decrease in sales. Um, for those of you who are new to my channel, um, I've been selling on eBay for 24 years, so I have been through all all the ups and downs and changes that you can imagine has happened in the last 24 years. Most of it has been full-time. Um, probably 10 years ago, Robert and I both left our full-time jobs to do this as a team, and, um, and it, it is our primary income. Since I'm on the topic of going on vacation, um, I, I already had a question this week from a viewer who asked, you know, if they're going away, how do I recommend um, dealing with eBay? Now, for the other platforms, there is no, you know, way to set it up so that you can still make sales and not ship. So I just turn all of my other platforms off. But on eBay, I've had so many issues as recently as December that I will no longer use the time away function. Um, I like to continue working and eBay told me if you can work as in send offers, list, do end and sell similar, then you should be able to ship for real. That was in their message to me when I sold something that I had listed that morning thinking that time away would extend it out and they said no. It showed I had to ship it the next day. Luckily. I have adult sons that still live in my home, so um, my son Miles was able to go ahead and ship it for me. So for those people who said they've never had an issue, I don't know what to say. I had the issue, so I no longer do that. I do extended handling time, and that way there's no issues. I don't, you know, every day I send out messages to anybody who purchased, just reminding them that I am on vacation since eBay doesn't mark it as vacation and that I will be shipping on such and such date. And normally I don't have any issues. People are always, you know, enjoy your vacation type responses. Um, and then every day I decrease my handling time until like we're gonna be gone Monday through Friday. Um, and then on Friday, I just turn everything back on normal, all the platforms, because I'll be able to ship Monday, the following Monday. That's just how I do it. Um, you know, I, I just, I don't, I, I don't trust that my end and sell similars and all of that stuff isn't going to cause me issues because it cost me issues last year. Because I even looked at my listings. It said this, this, you know, person is on vacation, but that listing did not do the five day handling or however many days it was going to be till I got back. It, it sold and I had to ship in one day. So not for me anymore. Before we get into the video, I am very delinquent in thanking two people who sent me Buy Me A Coffee. So I wanted to thank Amy and Donna for their, their Buy Me A Coffee that they sent me. Um, I think Amy was back in August, so I'm really, really sorry. I just, I make notes and then I cover them up and I don't notice them. But thank you so much for supporting my channel. All right, let's get to it. Didn't have any sales on Mercari, um, but I did have some on Poshmark and then of course on eBay. First thing that sold on Poshmark was this Mother's Promise Cloud Lovey. It sold for $19. Sold an Old Navy Men's Activewear Pullover, sold for $16. And then this Octonauts Professor Inking Plush sold for $15, and these American Eagle Women's Jeans sold for $22. 
and then eBay. All right, we'll start with this McDonald's Halloween Happy Meal Treat Bucket from 1993. This sold for $13.45. Anytime I can pick them up for like a dollar at a yard sale, I will. The older ones, the ones from like the, the 80s and 90s. This is Hug Fun Mermaid Cloth Doll, 26 inches long, sold for $13.45. Choco Barbary Chucka Boots, sold for $31.45. And then this Dinosaur Train Triceratops, his name is Tank. He is the 12 inch figure. I used to do really, really well with them, but for some reason now, they just don't get the prices that they used to. This one sold for $12. All right, this is a monkey plush that says, Be Mine on the heart. There was no tag. It, to me, it looks dandy. Um, I didn't pull up anything that showed me exactly. It sold for $8.02. Fisher Price Little People. I've sold quite a few here in the last week. This is Maggie and the Orange Cat. They sold for $8.96. And then this is a viewer sale, so thank you so much, Sherry. Sherry bought this First in Maine Schnookums Brown Bear for $16.16. .16. And then these Chico's Platinum Women's Jeans sold for $14. Lots of clothes. Eddie Bauer women's skirt sold for $15. And then this was a multi order, a bundle. Um, this first item is a Totsie's garden doll outfit. Fits a 16 to 18 inch doll. I went to, an, no, it was one of those consignment sales and bought several of these vintage doll still in their original packaging. I want to say I paid like a dollar each. Um, this particular one's sold for $10.45. And she also bought one of the Bradley Goldilocks dolls um, for $12.07. So she spent $22.52 on the two items. And then I sold these American Eagle women's jeans shorts. I found a pile of them. I know it's the end of the season. I went ahead and got them listed and received an offer pretty quickly. And so I went ahead and accepted $11 for these very distressed shorts. Bullhead men's jeans sold for $11.79. And then this is one of those Raggedy Ann, like, sewing kit dolls. She's 17 inches from 1982. She sold for $8.02. All right, this is Merry Christmas Tablecloth. Rectangle, red, and then I put the measurements on there. I can't remember where I picked it up. Probably at an estate sale or a yard sale for a couple of dollars. And it sold for $32.32. I remember grabbing these at the bins. It was like a whole bunch of sewing, crafting type stuff. It's been a long, long time. But this... It's a set of four of those panels where you could cut it out. It was going to make some kind of Halloween vest. Sold for $14. And this is a Monet trinket box. I picked these up at an estate sale. I went back twice. I spent quite a bit there. Um, picked um, probably, I want to say six or eight of these different types of trinket boxes. I want to say I got them on the half price day. They were originally $5 each. So I got them for $2.50. If my memory is correct, I don't know. But uh, this might be the last one that has sold. And it sold for $37. Walmart Black and White Dog from 2021 sold for $9. Let me see something. 
Somebody asked me how I know the dates on some plush. I think Walmart is one of those ones, the more contemporary that I can see right on there. Hold on, let me turn this off. Yes, kinda. All right, down here, you can see where it says Walmart. And if you go all the way to the end of the tag, that 0821, I am pretty confident that that means August 2021. Fisher Price Loving Family um, Dollhouse Parts. Um, I picked up several dollhouses this year, and I often just pull the pieces and parts or buy the all the buy it for the accessories and the dolls and the furniture. Um, I pulled this off a dollhouse. It's the window boxes with the flowers and I think a couple of like curtains that were attached. Um, it sold for $15.25. This small glass bowl to the sunbeam sold for $16.12. Alright, this doll it had a cute outfit on it, but it had a significant stain, and I tried a couple of times to see if I could do anything with it. It didn't, so I just decided to list the doll without the outfit. She's very cute. She's got like a hard head, but there's like this nylon fabric. The face is like nylon fabric over it. Um, very cute. Sold for $17.95. More little people. In my brain, I like to make about $3 each. I'll list them for higher, but a lot of times, especially with these newer chunky ones, um, I shoot for $3 in my brain. So sometimes I get uh, more and sometimes I get right about that amount. But this was a pilot and a tourist boy that sold for $8.02. Scarecrow Nylon Plush from Carl, Carl Max Company. Sold for best offer of $11. I don't know if I said this at the start of this video, but if you're new to my channel, I don't do free shipping. So when I say something sold for $11, um, the buyer did pay extra for shipping. This is Teleflora. I don't normally pick them up unless it's just something really, really cute. Some of the seasonal stuff is cute um, and it's got to be really, really cheap. Um, this Gingerbread house candy dish planter sold for $10.45. Target gray elephant plush from 2017 sold for $10. I think I picked this up at the TN Pickers yard sale. Um, it is a Tommy pocket game called Sentence Nonsense from 1975. It sold for $24.95. Monster High Toralee Stripe Doll from 2011. If I'm going to sell a doll with no clothes, I usually will not post. I'll just do a headshot for the first photo. Usually I do that with the Behringer dolls if I don't have clothes on them or any other doll. Um, so it's ju just my thing. Um, she sold for $22.45. Dakin Tiger Plush Hand Puppet from 1986 sold for $12.07. Now, Madam Blueberry tends to be the one that I have the hardest time finding very often, but she does seem to sell for a lot more than like um, the Larry or Junior Asparagus or Laura Carrot. Um, this one sold for $22.45. Ravensburger Planetary Puzzle. This is one of the puzzles Robert and I put together, and then I just go ahead and sell them. Um, this one, most puzzles that we sell are um, bread and butter. This one sold for $9. More Little People. This is, again, the newer ones that are chunky, heavy. These two, the cowboy and the little girl, sold for $6.50. Care Bears Cheer Bear 18 inch plush had some condition issues, sold for $12.07. Bowden Bowden Women's Dress. Um, 
I've used Abstract Floral Paisley. Very cute. Sold for $31. This is from uh, a yard sale we went to on a Sunday while we were down visiting with the tea and pickers. We were on our way to that Samaritan's Purse thrift store and stopped at this yard sale first. I bought just a bag full of Littlest Pet Shop figures. Um, these little digital toys and then the Pixel Chicks that I've done really, really well with. Um, this little compact sold for $21. I want to say I paid like five bucks for the bag of everything. All right, these were in my one touch pile. I, you know, tried to come up with stuff that are, you know, similar enough that they make sense when I'm going to make lots. Um, I finally found these little yellow bananas. I'm pretty sure they're Fisher Price, but they are not marked. And then I had this vintage milk jug. I decided to put them together and they sold very quickly. Sometimes you just don't know, you know, what's going to sell very quickly and what's not. But these two sold for $13 and 45 cents. Another surprise sell. This is MTY International. It is a orange rabbit with a really big head sold for $37.99. I picked this up on our return trip from Connecticut when we went up there for Robert and RJ's black belt test. We stopped in Morganton, West Virginia at a new bins there. It was very nice. Um, I picked up two of these Disney Winnie the Pooh costumes and I sold this one first and then I sold the other one on Poshmark. This first one sold for $28. And these, if you see these briar bowls, um, they're called, this one particular one is called Cash. It's um, from 2003, sold for $25.16. Garfield Cat Brush from 1978, sold for $10.45. I've got the hiccups, y'all. Right here's the back of it. It probably had a mirror and a comb in a set, but that was all I had. I picked her up at a, probably an estate sale. It's not been that long ago. Her name is Harmony, and she would have came with like a guitar. She's 21 inches from 1972, and she sold for $20. Oh, she didn't have her shoes either. Now this also was in that bag of Pixel and Littlest Pet Shops. Make sure when you're finding the, the, the animals, the dogs and the cats are the ones to really pay attention to. The rest of them pretty much you're gonna put in lots, but I, there were quite a few in the bottom of this bag. I just Google linsed every one of them. It tells you what number they are and what they are. And then I used eBay comps to decide if I was gonna sell them single or in small lots. And I had several that I listed as singles and then I think I made up two lots of cats and dogs. This one sold for $22.45. He's the number one Chihuahua. And these, I think these sold, I bet you they're gonna be a Halloween costume. Um, they were uh, vintage wool army pants. Um, there was no tag, so I didn't know the measurements or anything for it, which we just show pictures of the measurements. Sold for $19.99. And Necropolis, the Dialogic Project. Um, I guess it's spooky sounds and music, maybe. Not quite sure. Um, sold for $8. And last but not least, Gunned. 1982 cute little white rabbit sold for $17.95. Pretty sure this one came from the um, private pick estate sale that we went to where I found all of the vintage plush, a lot of it hanging from the ceilings of this house. It was just an amazing weekend of buying vintage plush.
you know, hopefully not once in a lifetime, but man, there was some amazing, amazing finds there. All right, I think I'm going to turn right around and get the next video, and we're trying to get all our videos done for the rest of this week and next week, so I've got a lot, a lot of work goes into getting ready for vacation. It really does, but we're hoping to be out the door starting to drive Friday, probably going to go to the Nashville Bends. It's like a four-hour drive for us. Stop there for a little while and then move on towards um, Missouri. Find us a hotel and stay overnight and then finish our trip. We might even stop at the Bends on the way to Robert's parents um, just to have a break and then start next, the following week, the 9th. I'm going to be hitting the Bends hard. Get a whole bunch of stuff to last me for the rest of the, you know, when yard sale season has finally ended around here, I'll have plenty of stuff to share with you guys and get listed. All right, y'all. Get to work. Bye.